Hey, in this video, let's see what it takes to create a pattern of any kind. So in my example, I'm going to create a honeycomb uh, pattern here in Maya 2022. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a cylinder and then go to my attribute editor and under polyender, uh, poly cylinder, I'm going to say uh, six sides. All right, next I'm going to delete all the faces except the top ones. Go to my edge mode, double click to select my edges and then just simply do uh, extrude. So something like this. Then I'm gonna go to face mode and delete all of these uh, faces. All right, next I'm going to go to my object mode and let's go ahead and turn on the wireframe so we can see the uh, geometry. If I wanted to, I can also uh, cent center my pivot, hold on the X key and just kind of drop it to the ground so it's flat. All right, now I'm gonna press Control D and uh, move this aside, hold down D and then hold down V and snap my uh, pivot to the end. So it's right at the end. Now, if I hold down V again, I can actually snap it together, right? And in my case, to create a honey uh, comb pattern, I actually need to move this. I need to press D, V again, and I actually need it to be down here in a corner, okay? Now I'm gonna hold down V again and snap it right up here. So I have a pattern that looks like this. Next, I'm going to combine both of these shapes. And if you press F, you can see, make sure that um, everything looks nice and clean. So because we combined it, obviously we know that there's uh, two verts here. Uh, if we wanted to, we could select all of our verts, go to mesh, I mean edit mesh and go to merge. And let's go ahead and reset our settings and there's 24 points right now or verts if i say merge it's going to go to 22 because these two were just merged together right that's what we want let's go to object mode and now i'm going to grab my move tool and let's press Control d move this aside and let's hold down d one more time hold down the v and let's go ahead and put our uh, pivot point right in the corner. Okay, then hold down V and snap these together. So something like this. Once you've done that, if you look at the uh, attribute editor, you can see this uh, value that is Actually, I'm going to copy this, which is two, uh, minus 2394. And this is my, I can see right here in my current layout, it's the Z value, right? For you, it, could, it might be X if you're actually rotated this way. It doesn't really matter. Just grab the uh, value and just pay attention to what uh, axes you're in. So I'm going to press delete. And now what I need to do is I need to go to edit, duplicate special. I'm going to reset my settings. And because I know this is uh, a Z uh, value, I'm going to put that in here. And I'm going to want, um, I'm going to say I want 12 of these just for my own personal project that I'm building. And I'm going to say duplicate special. All right, so here's my pattern. Now I can select all of these and combine them. Select all my points and do a merge. Now let's go ahead and also move them uh, this way. So I'm gonna actually select this one more time, press Control D, grab my move tool and just kind of move them up hold down the uh, D key 
press V and snap my pivot right to the corner. So right there. All right, now I'm gonna hold on the V key and just kind of snap them together like a magnet so they all snap together. And once I've done that, I can see that my value for my example is actually X. For you guys, again, it might be Y because I'm kind of facing the wrong way here. Um, I'm gonna copy this value, delete, go to duplicate special. I don't uh, need this. Now I need this one. And instead of going 12 for me, um, I actually need it to be probably about six and do duplicate special. Oh, I need to select the strip. And that is pretty much it. Now you can just select it, combine it and merge it. And this is how quickly uh, you are able to create custom patterns uh, in uh, Maya 2012. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.